Behold, vaccines, but where do they come from? Meet Edward Jenner, born in England in 1749. Edward Jenner grew up in Gloucester. He was fascinated by the natural world from a young age. After he finished school, he spent nine years as a surgeon's apprentice and went on to study medicine in London. When his studies were complete, Edward returned home to work as a doctor. Many of Edward's patients suffered from smallpox, which was as widespread then as heart disease is today. At the time, many people believed there was a relationship between cowpox and smallpox. Specifically, they thought that people who caught cowpox, like dairymaids, were less likely to catch smallpox in the future. Today, we know that the two diseases are related, but at the time, many people dismissed this as superstition. Luckily for us, Edward wasn't so close-minded. Edward conducted a vaccination, purposefully infecting an eight-year-old boy with cowpox. Hey! When the child recovered, Edward gave him smallpox. When the boy didn't contract smallpox, Edward knew he was onto something. The English government thought so too. They made it the primary method of fighting smallpox. Although Edward did not invent vaccination, it had been common knowledge in Africa, the Middle East, and Asia for thousands of years, he did popularize the technique. By curing smallpox, Edward saved thousands of lives and set the precedent for even more vaccines to follow.